I mean, I've been here for two hours, and it took probably an hour and a half from, from there to here. Reverend Emma Rosaria Nodam came to Downtown Crossing this morning to renew her senior citizen Charlie card. She doesn't drive and relies on the T and was greeted by this line. They will mail it to me. It would take at least three months. It's crazy. It's very crazy. Yeah, it's never been this bad before. The Charlie Card store is open Tuesdays and Thursdays for the elderly and disabled to conduct business. So you had people like Patty Allen waiting all morning. I just want to go and kick everybody out of my way so I can get up there. <laughs> and they say there's only two people inside working. You know, two boots taking people. The MBTA recently shortened its hours to just half days and says the pandemic presented unprecedented challenges in hiring and training the people necessary to process the passes and sincerely apologizes to its reduced fare customers for the delays. The fact that it's only open for two mornings a week, you know, what is it like less than 10 hours for all these people to transact the business. It just seems a bit absurd. But those who are here, keeping things moving as quickly as they can. I can't fault them with what they had to work with. Staff and tech, today they did a really good job. Now, the T says it's trying to increase staffing levels in order to expedite services here, and it's also working to develop an online system that would make coming here unnecessary, but that's still about three to six months away.